Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now not only animals, there are huge varieties of plants which also live in water. Now we can classify the aquatic plants into three types. First type is submerged plants. Now submerged means something which is present deep inside. So these plant parts, in the, for these plants, all the parts of the plant, whether it is root or stem or leaves or flowers, all parts of the plant remain under the water. So one such example is the pond weeds. In the ponds, you will generally see these kind of plants, uh, very thin stems and all. They have narrow thin leaves and they are submerged plants. They have ribbon like leaves you do not have those broad wide leaves so these why do they have these type of leaves so that they can easily bend in flowing water because they are submerged in water they are present under the water now the water in the river or pond will keep moving so with the flowing water they can very easily bend with their thin leaves so in these plants they do have roots and the main purpose of the roots is to hold the plant in one place now in normally in case of terrestrial plants, the plants which normally grow on land, so there also we have roots which bind the plants to the soil but there roots have a purpose to provide nutrients, to absorb nutrients from the soil and provide it to the plant. But in this case, the primary function of root is only to hold the plant in one place because the water is continuously moving. So there are chances that the plant might get carried with water. So to prevent that, these roots need to play their role very well. Second type of aquatic plant is floating plants. Now these plants have their leaves and flowers float on the water surface. So it is something like the other parts, the bottom part of the plant, whether it is root or the stem, they remain below the water, but the leaves and the flowers, they are seen on the water surface. So that is why these are called floating plants. So these plants have long light stems because of their light stems, they tend to come till the surface. So lotus and water lily are examples of such plants. Now you must have seen water lily and lotus plants. So the entire surface of the water seems to be covered with the leaves of the lotus or the lily. So these are examples of floating plants. And the third type of plant are emergent plants. That is they emerge out from the water. So their large portion of the shoot, large portion of shoot out of water. So large portion of the plant will come out of water. So think of a wild rice. Now the rice plants, they need a lot of water. So if you have ever seen the paddy fields, they have huge amount of water placed there. So it is almost like a pond, but the plants, they come out of the surface. So they are not floating on the surface. In fact, they have emerged out of the surface of water. That is why they are called emergent plants. So based on where the plant is located, whether it is present deep inside or it is floating on the surface or it has come out of the surface. Based on that, we decide whether it is submerged or floating or emergent. So this is how you can differentiate between the three. When you talk about a submerged plant, it will remain well deep inside the waters. So all parts will remain under water. When you talk about floating plants, the flowers and the leaves will be there on the surface. However, the roots and the stems will be under water. Whereas when you talk about the emerging plants, these plants, they will grow really tall and therefore their stems, not the roots, but their stems, branches, flowers, leaves, they all will emerge out of the surface of water. So these are the three categories of aquatic plants. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.